Hi guys. Hello. Welcome back. So this is the part two of our introduction. Yes. But it was meant to be, the first part was meant to be 15 minutes. It was like, should we do it in 15 minutes? We can't. You can and imagine. then the more we talk and the more details come back yeah, and you, memories. Yeah, because when I'm just thinking about it on how you, you used to freak out with me and I'm freaking out with you. By the way, can I tell you something? When you told me that, every time this is part of a story change. So I don't know if he's really a player and I got played. Or. But how would you be played and you're here? You always told me <laughs> that you were singing because you were next to that lady who you like and I always forget her name but I don't have to say her no, name No, I don't think I was singing And you were on stage and you had your mask and you were like, oh, you were... Um, I saw, one time it's true but you told me you were doing... Because I think you sang the last song, maybe? No, because in, in the... I've never... It's very because rare. you told me you were on that stage on the right completely with your mask how would you sing with your mask? No, you had that thing. No, but you cannot sing with a mask. Okay, so it's good. Anyway. Something that I also remember a lot is that in that season, in that in, in church, I was never put to sing in the morning. All the no, time that no. I used to come that's in the true. morning. I, I'm sorry, it's true. Yeah. You're right. We already had a conversation and that's exactly what you said. Like, because all the time I used to the come in the morning, I remember the guy who used to work on the sound. He wanted to show me on how to do this thing, and I used to, I I, I used to postpone all the time. That, but that time I had to do it, and it was a baptism day. But ha- yes, but yeah. how did you sing on the oil from the stage? But it was in the morning, so it was before the songs. It was in the morning. But before the no, church. No, even time. when the church is, you see our church. Yes. Even if the songs are on, I think it was in the songs are started. They were started. But you, how are you on stage? Because you see me from stage. So, the, you see the, the new stage when we used to be in that? Yes. Is how they. It's like this is the back side of the sound. Yes. So the sound used to be put up there. Yes. So if you're doing the sound, there's a guy mm-hmm. If he's showing you, you're up there with him. But me, I thought that he was always down on the side where you have a projector. It's either he was up there or he was down there between those two places. Because uh-huh. we used to have. Oh, yes, yes. yes he was down. But down on the on the right, mm-hmm. looking up there. Yes. But you where are you? I was somewhere another. Because you see me from the stage, that's yes. what you're So if I saw you from the stage, it means the sun was up there. But anyway, so I go back to the UK. You go to the UK to. So very important point, not very important, but I, after the coffee shop, after the date, I go to my friend to get my stuff to go to the airport and I like and I look at she was like so how was it I was like oh my god I like him she was like already <laughs> <laughs> I was like I did not expect it but it was just it's just a vibe it's just everything and also it it was the first time I could actually project meeting someone and having them with my family I do that kind of thing in my brain and it was the first time I was like oh that is actually fitting so that was when I say freaking me out, when I say freaking me out, it was like, uh, I don't have a level of freak out. So I was like, oh my god, I like him. And I remember texting my friends and I was telling them, I had told them about the day and I told them, oh my god, I really like this guy. So that was also something. And I remember something you told me at the airport. I don't want to. Oh yeah, I didn't want to go. By the way, I didn't want to go. Because I was like, in the I... UK. I was uh, tired and hustling and very cold. Cold, yes, exactly. And I was like, now I found this guy who seems to be the perfect match, and I don't even have time to investigate if it's true or not. And I already have to go. Like, what is this? So I got re- I was a bit frustrated. Frustrated, I think, was the right word. But in the plane, I even bought data just to wi-fi in the plane to mm. be able to talk to him mm. uh, and we spoke all night long and it was actually really nice because that's also when like i'm saying we yeah. were dropping big bombs mm. and not big bombs but you get what i'm saying like it's what, still like what, a bomb what, that is what, with, but you're looking for the negativity part exactly. of who you are what to someone see can say oh i'm not gonna like this in that i'm looking for this specific things yeah. so me i was like maybe if i tell him that then he's gonna be like oh actually yeah, yeah. you're not yeah. the love of my life 
So I was like, okay. And then I went home and the first text that he, the first text that he texted on that dinner has been, we never stopped talking ever since. Every single day we talk. So when I got back to the UK, I reached home, we were still texting and I think two days later, by mistake, he phone dialed me like yeah. but dialed video me. Video call. Like on mistake it was in his pocket. A lot of people say it was not my mistake, but it was because I actually saw his reaction, blah blah blah. Yeah. And yeah, I was freaking out, I was not ready. I think it was the morning, I was in my pyjamas in front of the TV, still recovering from the jet lag. So I mean can imagine and then I'm just like oh gee. but also another very important point is that still up until our date I didn't really know your name yes <laughs> because there's J O J uh so yeah and Joseph but yeah. you kept referencing yourself to those two yeah. names but also O J as O J or O J as O J I Y so it was mm. like very confusing in my brain and then my kitchen and is called Jess Giconi exactly so I was like what is the name of a guy so it's only at the date I think that I found out your name. I told him like, what is your name by the way? Because everyone is calling you a different name. Yeah, but it was it was really good because also when you left, I think when we continued talking, even in that process of us talking about the digital parts and just to see, are we ready to do the distance relationship? I think at some point I was like, I really can do this. Because what happened is when he called me. We actually called every single day. Every single day. So all the time, every single day. So that's a commitment that we made. And me, I was on holidays. Yeah. It was summer, so I went to Spain uh, for my friend's birthday. Like I was really enjoying yeah. my summer as people do in the UK or in Europe. So I was like, yeah, that's great. But every time, even if it was just for one minute or two minutes, it was like, no, you, you have to at least talk. So, yeah. and at that point, we still hadn't named yeah. or like put a name on our relationship it yeah. will still get to know each other but yeah. already you could by the see actions, where it's going yeah you could see okay you, you actually we're have, a bit stupid to yeah. say that this is not something else yeah. Yeah. but also with me and my principles i was like oh you like never i'm never, never gonna say i love you to you over the phone mm. or i cannot say that you're my boyfriend I, I, if i haven't seen you yet mm. which you will see uh, two months later i was at the train mm. so yeah, so we kept talking for a while. Yeah, yeah, we talked and then, for... And, and, and that's, that's what you were saying also, what was nice. Because a lot of people say, oh, you don't know him. And that's why for us, at least in our situation, I would, I would say the difference because since you're online, you don't have a choice to talk. Yes. And since we were calling and texting every single mm-hmm. day, Really you don't have a choice to talk, you're not gonna pick up the phone and stare at each other, yeah. you know. Except if you know Ryu, really, like the person we were like now, maybe yeah. we would do. But if Before you date someone would. in the same city, yeah. you would go on a date maybe once a week, you would what you would go for dinner, yeah. so half of the time you wouldn't speak because you would yeah. you would go to watch a movie, so for two hours you're yeah. speaking. Yeah. So all of us kind of things, but for us when you're on the phone for two hours, mm. you have to speak for two hours. Yeah, like and actually, the first phone call was at least two hours, yeah. and then the first, second one, the real, real one was at least seven hours. We spent yeah, a yeah. whole day yeah, yeah. on the phone. We, we really spoke a lot, and I think that's also what happened, really helped us yeah. in a sense of getting to know each other, not even physically, because physically we, we we really stayed long after we've seen each other, but that communication, even when I was seeing her for the first time, I was like, there's a lot of things I know about her. I don't have to start okay. finding out, yeah. or I don't have to be insecure and say, "Oh, you have friends that I don't know," or you the same exactly. thing that, "Oh, I have friends that you do not know." It was very much. Any place I would go, I would tell her. Yeah, exactly. Any yeah, place she would go, she did a whole tour in yeah. Europe. She also involved me in it, you know. So it it, it was very I was easy. Going to work, I would feel yeah, to show him yeah. Or it was it was very it it was very and. For me, I think it's it was the best. Yeah. I think because we had a very proper communication skill. Yeah. And we're talking about deep things like yeah, yeah, you know. cultural differences. For yeah. example, do do we think it's gonna be an issue? Yeah. Um, like all of those kind of stories, and then yeah, just kind of everything. There was no and then that time, subject. And then that time was so much. Yeah. <laughs> You're so deep in love. You don't even care. I mean, I remember that time. I was working in the coffee shop. 
my brother was complaining a lot of time because I'm always on my phone. That's true. And I'm like, I, today, I, I was not working over the summer, so yeah. I had left a job in June and I was starting a new one in January, so I was enjoying my summer. And I had like, the whole day free, so it was also nice because the more you get to know him, yeah. also another thing as well that I'm thinking about mm. is like we say, even, even like say, you know, like I said, like we talked a lot and then after after moment you don't really have a lot to say, but mm. let's say, oh, I needed to clean something, or I needed to cook we were just told while i'm doing this yes. so also that was nice because a lot of people mm. were telling us oh but you don't know him really you don't know someone until you see them in person which yes. is true there's also a lot of new yeah, aspects yeah. but when i decided to move in with Jay, a lot of people were saying that and i was like but he already see i mean he sees how i clean my kitchen or he sees mm. how i cook or he sees that i don't cook that much but also i don't think it's in it's also in that sense only for your your I think the, the most important part was like, are you an honest person? Yeah, but you know, sometimes you, you can be, but yeah, yeah. the way of living, there's like yeah. some friends of mine that you know, mm. they are my best friends, but I could never live with them yes. because we are very different in terms of yeah, yeah. how we like to keep things clean yeah. or dirty yeah. or, you know, how you like to arrange this yeah. or this or this. But also, I believe we come also, I think the way I've been raised also, you we come up in a space whereby. Um, respect and learning. In an environment whereby you are allowed to not to be perfect human being. You know? there, there, there are some things you can be taught, but there are some things you cannot be taught. You cannot be taught how to be honest. You cannot. There, there's a lot of things that you cannot be taught. Cleaning, come on, you can get an aunt to clean for you. You can get someone to eat, you can get a chef to cook for you. But, but there are those big particular things when you speak about uh, honesty, discipline, um the level of intelligence um also how you take care of yourself all those kind of things are hygiene you know those those kind of very important things that are very crucial in when two people want to live together i had already seen and even and even before we moved in together i already knew like because this is not who you are like these things you're struggling and also, you also knew my struggle and we were coming together to just be able to be uh, to, to, to be compacted. I don't, I don't know, it was like a puzzle to fit in each other because I come with my own shenanigans, you come with your own. But then how can we come together and be able to be a support system for each other? So if you're not good in cleaning, me personally, I'm not good in cleaning, but I don't mind cooking. She loves cleaning and she doesn't like cooking. So it's easy. Me, I cook, she cleans. I personally do not like to pack things, like to... If you go for a holiday... Yeah, like you wash clothes and you have to... Me, I, I'm not good in that. She's good in that. She would take... I don't like to take the beans out. Yeah, me, like... I would do it. She, she would take yeah. hours and hours and hours to iron and fold. Me, I wouldn't. I would just take everything and stash them together. And so it was in a sense of... She has this and I have this and we bring them together and see on how we can blossom our relationship. We, we skip yeah. the part. So basically we talk, I live in July, we mm. talk mm. and in November, in October I'm like, okay, I, I need to come and see you. It was, it was, it was a starting heart. to become very frustrating because yeah. okay, online is great, but again, in there person, is a reality yes, of, of what happens if it's in person. Yes. Do you like the smell of a person? Yes. Do, do you like the way they, they talk to people yeah. one thing for me where i judge a lot of people is how they uh, interact with public members such as like if you go to a restaurant how do you speak to the waiters or if you go to a shop how do you yes. speak to that person mm. because i also i also think that's a big way that you can tell if someone is kind or not have mm. empathy or respect so you see those kind of small things so how do you interact in public if you go out to with friends mm. how, are you, how are you gonna act towards me mm. are you gonna be the same or different you know uh, because it happens sometimes where in private you're someone in public you're someone else mm. so uh, at first i was like okay i'm gonna go in january um, i'm gonna book some holidays with my wife and go in january and i was like no no, no i can't and luckily with my job, it was because I was on, on a zero hour contract, so it was really easy to take days off. Mm. So I'm, in October, I was like, me, I'm tired, I need replies. I remember so well, I was going to a cinema with a friend. Yeah. I was like, oh my God, I'm starting to get so She was just, just go. And I was like, but I cannot go. I was starting to find all of these reasons. 
So I just picked up the phone with Jen. I was like, by the way, can I come next month? And even him on the other side was freaking out a bit. Yeah, because I'm like, oh, okay, because we, we were. What's happening? It was meant to be January, January, but now it's October. You know, things have really yeah. come quickly. So I was like, but deep down in myself, I really wanted to see you because I also wanted to have those uh, clarifications, Re- replies, reply, yeah, and just yeah. see. Because me going to the UK was very difficult. Also, as a Kenyan, there's a lot of procedure for her coming from the UK to come to Kenya was yeah to, on, was my, on my passport that on her passport that particular time she didn't need a visa so she just came quickly and it was so I went to book after the cinema I went home book my tickets and a month later in November oh my god I couldn't believe this I spent three weeks and uh, again I was like oh my god three weeks but you're gonna step here what happens if it goes wrong what are you yeah. gonna do I didn't and also, have any of those I know, feelings. I was like, I know at three weeks is it isn't gonna be not enough, and I'm I know it's gonna go by so far and it's gonna be great, but at least three weeks is long enough to get to know someone. And I also remember that me, I'm someone who loves Africa. I had never been to Kenya. I've always traveled in South Africa. I had never been to Kenya until then, mm-hmm. but I had loved it. So I was like, I'm so happy to go back. Uh, also, it's winter in the UK, so who is going to say no to some summer? Mm. So, yeah, so I went back for three weeks yeah. and it was perfect. Was so, so there the, the is this, I don't know if it happens to people who are in long distance, whenever you meet at the first time, oh, yeah. you're not sure if that is the person. Because when you talk to them on the phone, on a screen, and when you look at them and the reality, in that moment, immediately you look at this person, you're not sure if it is. I think a lot of people can relate to that maybe towards uh, the COVID times, like the, especially at the beginning during like, um, how do you call that? Uh, lockdowns, yeah. when we were doing things online. So, you know, mm-hmm. a lot of people started their jobs yeah. online, yeah. and then you never meet your boss, or you never meet, you see all of these people on the screen, but you never meet. And then when the offices open back again, and you have to go in because you know you only see that side of someone yeah, yeah. so then when you have to see the rest of the body you're just like oh my god they look that way but i thought they were this way or this way mm. or, or, or people with masks yeah. you know so you get used to a face and then when you see them in reality mm. you you guess the end so obviously for us we had seen each other yes but you get used to the screen person you and not the, exactly yeah. your your mind forgets on how this person looks in reality so it was, it was the... You lost your side, that's what you were saying. No, I did not lose my side. <laughs> I wanted to say this was like, you know. <laughs> you have to. So, when she landed, a friend of mine gives me a car, I take it. It, it had like a... The, the, the car had just problems. Mechanical problems body problems anything that is a problem this car had the lights were just i did not know because you will learn you no 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 like with the lights the lights i did not know okay, the body the car you knew yeah like when the, i say that this car was broken like the body like the door of the driver i knew sometimes it jams you cannot open it you have to open down the window open it or jump on the other seat go around open the door from outside so me, I drove that car from around because she, she was, you were learning at night, yeah? I don't remember, but I probably, I think it you was at night. Like, you were learning at around 9 oh, or 10. Oh, yes, 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 it was very late. Yeah, so I, I took this, I, I said, Ju, because of traffic, and I know Nairobi is a lot of traffic, let me, let me start my journey at 6, right? start my journey I even called my friend when I'm driving I'm like yes I'm up I'm going to pick my girlfriend <laughs> it's like, yeah, ah. was freaking out at that point. and then I go I'm freaking out so I reach at the airport I park the car very early I reach very early I think I reach around 7 30 or 8 I park the car and then I go wait for her now when she came oh my god really freaked out like i was not thinking i was confused so we went, we, we that's also the point where it was a bit weird like yes. we looked at each other and i was like is this is this really what? him is this the one <laughs> huh i was like am i attracted to him do you know like you start questioning yeah. everything just like, so so like we 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 go um 
I remember the place I parked a car, I think it was written like C something. Mm -hmm. A, no? I think it was, a, I don't know, A, whatever. A1. A1. So, me, confidently with a suitcase, check, 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 check the lift. A1. Guys, A1, it was not A1. I started looking for the car. The car is lost. And at that moment, I have freaked out to a point. That he doesn't that even want to I, admit it. No, 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 not even to admit it. I do not know the plate, plate number. number. <laughs> I don't know. I have forgotten because I cannot think. Because I'm And yeah, so I told him, it's okay, you just like, oh, no, 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 guys, you made me walk. Like that parking. But it's so not. Much. So when I was you like, see? you lost the car, it's okay. It's okay to freak out. It's okay to tell me, you know, like, just tell me. No, I'm fine. Yes, no, I am it's fine. Okay, like, no, no. No, 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 no. I was, so. of course I'm freaking out, I don't want to be told I'm freaking out, I am fine, let me have my life, <laughs> I loitered in that parking lot, I found my car somewhere down there, in a different So she leaves me, so, so, now he her. so now he admits, so now he admits, she's like, okay, let me tell you something, it is true, I don't know where the car is, so I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so leave me here and go. So him he goes, me. I take the opportunity and I take my phone and, and I text my friends. I'm like, oh my god, this is what's happening. Uh, I landed, you know, like you give a date and everything, you freak out. Um, and he lost the car. And he lost the car. Oh my god, it was bad. But anyway, so we got to. Yeah. We got it. That there's no good. lights, please remember. He just said there's one light that's very dim. I was praying the whole time. I was the like, blood of and also, he used to live in a very steep, steep in a hill. hill. Yeah. The way so you, you've never that. been in such a road, it's so bumpy, it's so rocky. So, she no, was... the road was not an issue. It's in, in the car in that road, but anyway, I didn't know that road is yeah. in the car. It because also, it was, I think it was the first time to be in such a bad, bad road. car. No, like in a bad car and in a bad room. Yeah, maybe in town, yes, because in, in the bush I'm used to it. So yeah, yeah, so it was, but it was a very bougie, it was very pretty, it was a very nice area to be because it was a very nice. So pretty, it was, and the nature, 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 you see the nature. Nature. it was very nice. It was very nice. And then I want to tell them why you brought me the next day. We arrived. No, nice. no, no, that is not He made, <laughs> he made a nice dinner for me. Yeah, we had a nice dinner uh, and we spoke and a little bit. And I was so tired. Yeah, we looked at each other I was properly. Just like, tired, we looked at each other properly. Is it you? Is it me? Okay. Are you sure you wanna do this? Huh? Guys. Let's meet next time. Again. Thank you so much for subscribing to our channel. We love you. But this no. is the end of the story. No, we're gonna have another with a different title. Uh, can we finish a bit faster? No, but it's finished. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we had dinner, went to bed, and I spent three weeks there, mm. it was really nice, and that's how in March, I was like, um, when in January, I was like, I'm leaving, I went back in December, beginning of December, mm. and I, anyway, I was planning to leave the UK, so I was like, yeah, I'm very tired, I want to leave the UK, so in January, I took the decisions, I'm going, we were trying, I was thinking of going to South Africa at first, before I met you. Yeah, I think that was like can I just finish this please? So then that's how I match. I moved in with Jeff and now in Mauritius. So yeah. It is not easy. Whatever you guys see out there, whatever happens inside. Everyone has their own story. But guys, thank you so much for being our subscribers. Enjoy these stories. You know, we are here to tell you stories to just uh, have a good time with you guys. Until next time, this is Actually OJ. Thank you very much for Thank watching. you. Subscribe. Bye.